Hey everybody, welcome to this brief little how-to presentation. Uh, I just want to show you real quickly how to search for grants on the Federal Register. So uh, everyone, I mean, everyone goes to grants.gov, and, and you should because they post all the grant notices, and that's where you can download the application packages and complete your application online. But kind of the underrated source for grant information is the Federal Register. Sometimes grants are posted a couple of days earlier on here for whatever reason. Uh, so just, just want to walk you through how to search this particular government resource if, uh, if this interests you. So go to federalregister.gov. This is the home page. And start by clicking Current Issue. And it'll take you to today's publication. And then I like to search on four keywords, grant, fund, award, and application. And that starts from the most specific with grant and then kind of working down to the most broad or general term uh, application. So let's just kind of walk through this here. So I'll use the find feature. Don't use, if you're going to search, don't use the search documents box. Use the, um, use the find in page feature on your browser. If you use search documents, you'll end up searching the entire federal register. And you don't want that. You just want to search what's going on today. So I'm going to start with grant. All right. Now, what we're looking for ultimately is applications for new awards, this, this language right here, or notice of funding opportunity. In this case, there are two matches for grant. Uh, we're going to pass this one up simply because if you'll see after the description of the funding, it says correction. So that's actually if you already have downloaded this, this funding opportunity, this is a good time to download the correction to see what changes were made to, uh, to the funding notice. But since we're looking for like brand new grant opportunities, we're going to pass this one up and we're going to go to the second grant. Intent to grant partially exclusive patent. Okay, well, that's not, <clears throat> that's not what we want. So we move on to fund. And what do we have there? The Rural Connect America Fund. That is not what we want. Okay, requirements for insurance. National Credit Union Share Insurance Fund. No, 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 that doesn't do us any good. That is not a grant. And the Nationwide Funded by... Okay, no, yeah, well, <clears throat> that is definitely not a grant. So now, uh, moving on to award. A-W-A-R-D. Okay, cool. All right, now we're back to the original uh, applications for new awards, the correction that, uh, that I mentioned about a minute ago. So since we've already looked at that and decided to pass, we're going to move on to uh -huh, Homeland Security Acquisition Regulations, Solicitation of Proposal Information, Award of Public Contracts. All right, well, that's not a grant. So we will use our last keyword, application, and you'll see in a second why. Ah, oh, shoot. Wait, hold on. This is so professional. All right, hold on. Hey. All right, and the reason you search, or at least the reason I search the keyword application last is because it's so broad, it captures everything. So we have the applications for new awards that we saw earlier, but then we also have uh, hours of services for drivers, this recovery permit application for endangered and threatened species, subzone application, okay. Request for applications for rural energy in America. Uh, if you're in the rural rural US, this might be of interest to you. They're like smaller, uh, I'd say like micro grants of up to $20,000, <clears> excuse me. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Securities and Exchange Commission. That doesn't do it for us. All right. Application for travel document. Nope. And then back to the start. All right. Well, that's not terribly exciting. This is... Uh, the hell day is this? Okay. So March 13th. So I picked out... I went back. Using the calendar, you can go back in time and look at previous... Um, previous issues of the Federal Register. So I went back to February 5th. That seems to be a good one. So, Grant, we'll just do this again. All right, so we have one match on Grant. Mm -hmm. This is just an information collection activity. So the Department of Education is probably looking for comments on this program, and you see we're, we're going to end up right down here after I go through the next couple of steps. But since I'm so particular, I'm not going to jump, jump ahead. I'm going to keep going with my typical, typical pattern. So fund, that, uh, that's nothing. Award, application for new award. Okay, that's cool. We're coming back to this one. And just out of curiosity, how many terms for application are there? Eight. All right, so there's one. Water facilities, nope. Two licenses. Permit applications. See, this just covers everything. Mm -hmm. Boop, boop. And here we are. Now, when you find an application for a new award or a notice of funding opportunity, you can click on the Federal Register document here for more information. And it takes you to a page like this. Tells you when it was published. Tells you the agency. The action is a notice. A little summary, the CFDA number. When applications are available. When the deadline is. And you get some of that information over here, too, for further information. And then it gives you the full funding opportunity description here. And it goes through the description of the funding, application requirements. If it has multiple requirements, it kind of lists them in order. Gives you little notes. More requirements. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Mm -hmm. How to appeal. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's get down to the good stuff. Award information. All right. Discretionary grants. Here's the estimated funds that are available. What kind of award range you can expect. Average size. Estimated number of awards. Eligibility. Who can apply or sometimes who cannot apply. If there's any cost sharing or matching how to submit, again, deadlines, and then more information that you need on how to prepare the application. And you can look at this online. Let me scroll back up. Scroll back up. Or you can download the PDF version of it. Now, again, you're going to have to go to grants.gov grants eventually to complete the application, but like I said, sometimes in the Federal Register you get things a day, two days, three days, sometimes a little earlier than grants.gov, so it's worth checking out. Uh, the other benefit to the Federal Register is if you are very aggressive with your grant searches, uh, if, um, if you want to get a head start on the week, uh, the Federal Register for uh, Monday notices post on Saturday. So if you have got free time on a Saturday morning, you can actually check out on the Federal Register what's posting uh, on Monday morning. If it's a three-day weekend, you have to wait till Sunday for the Tuesday notices. But um, that's kind of cool if you like to get a jump start on the week. Maybe get a couple of days jump start or head start on your competition. And, uh, well, that's about... That is about it. All right. Well, I will leave my contact information in the description of the video. 
But uh, like it, share it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. Uh, you can reach me at thegrantdoctors.com or on social media at The Grant Doctors on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.